Welcome to week one, day five of the Salvation City Church Peace with God course. I'm Joel Maylett, Senior Leader of Salvation City Church. By now, you should be close to reciting the entire verse of this week by memory. Go ahead and try it, and then we'll say it together. Alright, let's say it together now. 1 John chapter 5, verses 11 and 12. And this is the testimony. God has given us eternal life, and this life is in His Son. He who has the Son has life, and he who does not have the Son of God does not have life. Throughout this week, you may begin to have new thoughts and feelings towards yourself, God, and others. Let's begin to think about these new ideas and allow yourself a moment to identify them with them. Inner peace. Do you feel a greater measure of peace, especially in your relationship with God? Think about that. What about a new awareness of sin? Has the way you see sin in your life changed at all? Victory over sin. Does the power of the cross encourage you to have victory over sin? What about a new love for God? Is there a deeper desire to love God with everything you have? How about a desire to read the Bible? Has memorizing the Bible stirred up a hunger for more of the Word of God? What about any attitude changes? Have you sensed changes in the way you react and feel towards life, towards others, towards God? Maybe you have a greater sense of forgiveness. Have you fully received the promise of forgiveness? Perhaps you sense a new concern for other people. Is there a desire to share this wonderful relationship with God with others? Think upon these things today and take a few moments to thank God for all that he has given you in Christ Jesus. Now, before we close this week, take the time today to attempt to write out our weekly verse from memory on the back of your scripture card. Be sure to follow up with your discipleship leader to discuss the things you learned and to pray together. Allow me to close in prayer. God, we love you. And we're so grateful for this new life that we have in Christ. This new life begins a transformation process in our hearts. As we study your word, as we pray, as we memorize your word, I thank you, Lord, that the listener begins to truly experience inner peace. They have a new awareness of sin. They sense victory over sin. They have a new love for you, God, a new desire to read the Bible, even changes in their attitudes. I pray that they would receive a sense of forgiveness and a new concern for others. Lord, you begin to change the way we think and act to line it up with the word of God. And we give you all the glory for it. Thank you for the transformation that's taking place in our hearts. In Jesus' name, amen.